Hello and welcome to Sigma Youth Engineers. My name is Vipin Yadav and I have 10 years of experience in CNC programming and machining. In this video series, I am going to tell you about CNC programming and how to generate program in easiest way. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to understand CNC is a system which is operated with the help of numbers, letters and symbols or you can say Computer numerical control is a method for automating control of machine tools through the use of software embedded in a microcomputer attached to the tool. It is commonly used in manufacturing for machining metal and non-metals. So here I'll show you, you can see here the control system. This is the control system or you can say the control panel in which the CNC is installed. So in this picture you can see here this is the CNC controlling system which is operated with the help of numbers, letters and symbols. So numbers, letters and symbols are inserted with the help of these keys. Okay. So you can say CNC is a system which is operated with the help of numbers, letters and symbols. Okay. Now move to the next topic. What is CNC machine? A machine which is operated and controlled with the help of a computer controller is known as a CNC machine. So you can see here, this is a CNC machine with CNC controller. Okay. CNC machine is mostly used in machine tool applications like milling and turning, but having different operations like welding, pressing, cutting, laser cutting, plasma cutting. So all these operations are also done by the CNC machine. Okay. So CNC machine is a machine which is operated and controlled with the help of a computer controller is known as a CNC machine. Okay. Types of CNC machines. CNC machines are various types like CNC lathe machine, CNC milling machine, CNC plasma cutting machine, CNC laser cutting machine, CNC router machine. So all these machines are known as CNC machines. So in this video series, we will learn about CNC lathe machine programming. Okay. So you can see here the CNC lathe machine. Here you can see these are the basic parts of CNC machines. So this is basic introduction about CNC machine. So you can see here the tool turret. You can see this is the tool turret, main spindle, headstock, motor drive, hydraulics, chuck, electrical cabinet, monitor, CNC this is the CNC you can see here this is the CNC controlling panel okay and this is the tail stock so these are the basic parts of CNC machine so you can see the actual view of CNC machine here this is CNC machine you can see the chuck this is the CNC controlling panel these are the doors headstock tail stock tool turret okay so now we have to understand the CNC programming. What is CNC program? A CNC program is a sequence of commands written in a particular language to control the operation of a machine. So here you can see this is the input of this output. You can see the set of instructions. These are the set of instructions or commands which gives the output to a threading component. Okay. This is the threaded component, which is generated with the help of this program. So this is the input and this is the output. So program is basically a set of instructions. These are the numbers, letters, and symbols. All these combinations are set to produce the output. Okay. So this program can be generated with the help of a sequential method. So in this video series, we will learn how to generate a program in a sequential manner. Okay. So in this video series, we will learn how to generate the format. First, we will explain the terms of programming. So let's get started. The first term used in CNC programming is program number. In FANUC control system, the program number is the starting number, which give the unique identification in the memory of machine control system. So the unique identification is done through the program number. So here you can see the program number. This four digit number indicates the program number followed with the letter O. So this 
is called the program number now the range of numbering range is double zero double zero two double nine double nine so this is the range in which the program number can be stored in a machine so first we have to understand the type of programs okay there are generally three type of program first one is general program second one is custom macro program third one is machine tool macro program so all these three program are different from each other so now we have to understand what is difference general program is written from this range double zero double zero two seven triple nine so this is the range for general program this can be vary in different controllers okay and the most important thing is these programs can be editable no protection by parameters so you can edit these programs by externally okay the second one is custom macro program custom macro program are ranging from 8000 to 8999 so these are the program number range in which custom macro can be stored okay they are protected with parameter setting so you cannot edit okay the third one is machine macro machine macros are ranging from 9000 to 9999 so this is the range in which machine macro program can be stored they are also protected with parameter setting so you cannot edit so we have to conclude here we can only learn and edit general program we have to create editable general program now the second term is sequence number what is sequence number actually sequence number is a number follows the letter n at the program line beginning so you can see here this is the sequence number now we have to understand the example you can see here if we have write the program so every line there is a sequence number to identify in which we have to put the values okay so n1 n2 n3 these are the sequence number i hope you will understand it now move to the next topic that is block what is block a block is a minimum amount of word command necessary for the machine to perform their operations so here you can see a block take up a one line when writing on a program sheet so you can see here this is the first block this is second block this is the third block all these instructions given in this are concluded with a block now move to the next topic that is address what is address address is the alphabetical letter in a word okay so n g x y z or address so they can be defined an address now move to the next topic that is numerical data what is numerical data numerical data refers the numbers part of a word any word which includes the numerical data the numbers like 1 and 0 are the numerical data okay so these are the numerical data now move to the word what is word a word is a minimum command to activate a function it is composed of an address and numerical data you can see here n1 g0 these are the word okay x0 y0 these are the word here address and numerical so the combination of this is called word okay now the seventh and the most important thing is end of block every block is ended with a semicolon and this semicolon is known as end of block okay so this is very important every block has to be ended with end of block okay so these are the basic terms used in cnc program now move to the most important thing is g code here the fanuc g code list in which every g code defines a single operation the activity of a machine how the machine react according to the g code so these individual g codes are explained one by one okay so this is all about the basic instructions about cnc lathe machine programming in our other video we will learn about how the g code react according to the operation okay so see you in our next video thanks for watching video